Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a little while since we've done a vlog, but I needed you guys. I needed a vlog to keep me accountable and to help me through this process. It is the 4th of February, the day that I'm starting this vlog which means the anti-relationship year. My next book comes out next month, March 30th. So I'm filming a behind the scenes vlog of that. So that'll be up on my channel around release day. I'm really excited to share that vlog with you guys. So you'll learn more about it then, but there's been a ton of stuff happening behind the scenes and I've been very focused on that book. And I finished writing a book in January. I wrote a rough draft of like a romantic suspense kind of book. However, the project that we're gonna be working on in today's vlog is actually the book that I wrote back in November for NaNoWriMo. And I haven't touched this book since, both because I've been so busy with the anti-relationship year and then the book that I wrote in January, but also because I have been avoiding this book like the plague. Like, I don't want to touch this book. I am so intimidated by it. Like, I don't even know where to start. I know it needs so much work, so I've been avoiding it. This one is the first book in like a paranormal romance kind of urban fantasy series, and I love the story. I love the characters. I love all of the things that I've brainstormed of things to come in the future books, but this rough draft is probably the messiest of the rough drafts that I've ever written and I write pretty messy rough drafts. Not that it's particularly like the content of it is messy. It's a super short rough draft. It is 37,920 words. It's not even 40,000 words. So it's not like the content that I have now it's messy. It's just so bare bones it's missing so much like it needs to be twice this length so i don't even know where to start <laughs> like i have so much to do to fix this so basically the purpose of this vlog this is a chatty intro i wanted to take you guys along with me for the revision process for this book to keep me accountable keep me company and i can just share with you how i'm going to be revising this book because i already know it's going to be different than my revision process has been in the past for other books because what I've done before clearly wasn't working for this one because I've been struggling so much. So we're scrapping all of that and we're just gonna figure it out and see what works this go around. So what I did yesterday was I read the book all the way through and I took notes just chapter by chapter of issues that I saw, ideas that popped into my head, just anything for every chapter in the book. Then I made a second list this one on my computer i actually made a list thankfully thank you past katie like as soon as i finished the rough draft of things that i knew i didn't do well just like plot threads i knew i had dropped things i knew needed to be developed more but i also knew i was still too close to the book because i had just finished writing it to jump in and start making changes so i made this list for myself for later the heading is literally plot threads i'm worried i've dropped or not developed enough so obviously i'm not gonna show you like too close but i had a bullet point list then i added other things i added a, a section down here that like questions i needed to know the answer to as the writer even if they weren't revealed in this first book i needed to figure out what the heck was going on because i didn't know so i did that and then i sat down and made kind of a variation of something that i've done in previous revision vlogs if you've been around for a while with the sticky notes but this time i used small sticky notes and i just put it on a piece of paper so the teal ones are what happens in each chapter and we've got two pages and then the green ones were where i was brainstorming where i could add things where things could go and stuff like that so we made that and then i have all of my documents that i made before i started writing i'm also really glad i made all of these notes um, i have all of these worksheets available on my website you can download them for free if you subscribe to my newsletter if you're interested so i have one on outlining and plotting so basically all of these brainstorming sheets and then i also had character profile sheets for all of my supporting characters and then i also had world building questions to help me with the whole series and the world so I've basically just been like going through all of my notes that I had for this book, re-familiarizing myself with this book and the original idea and stuff. And then I made what is titled on my computer, Revision Checklist Round 1. So what's really hard for me with this like first round of revisions is I just get overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. There's so much to do. So I made a checklist of changes that we can go through and we can make. This is not going to be the extent of the changes, but this gives me something to focus on and makes it a little less overwhelming. So we have 14 things on the checklist so far. And then I also have a list under that other general issues and just like overall issues with the book. So basically what we're going to do today is we're going to pick one item off the checklist and we're just going to get started somewhere in the book. And I'm hoping once we start checking things off the list, it'll just it won't feel just as like, oh my god. This is probably the most like overwhelmed I've ever been going into a revision of a book. Either that or it's just been a while since I've revised a book and I don't remember how overwhelming it was last time. But uh, yeah, that's what the vlog's gonna be. This is a super long intro. I've been talking a lot, but that's what we're doing. I don't have a title for this book. I've been calling it The Marionettes, which is the title 
of the series. I'm thinking The Marionettes will be the title of the series, but I don't have a title for book one yet. So I've just been calling it The Marionettes. So let's get started. It's about 12 o'clock. I finished up with all of my editing client stuff this morning. So this is the project for this afternoon. The first thing on our agenda, we're jumping into chapter six. For some reason, this felt like a good starting point. I have a chapter where something happens that I didn't show it on the page. I basically just summarized and then this happened and then I skipped over to the next scene. So I wanna pull out that summary and basically make it an actual scene and show it on the page. So what I do when I first start a new draft of a book that makes it like a lot less stressful when I start making changes and stuff is I copy and paste and make a whole new document so I have the old version that I can go back to should I ever need to. I never need to, but having that untouched rough draft document like gives me peace of mind should anything ever go wrong. And I like delete something that I wish I hadn't, you know? So we make a separate document so we can leave the rough draft alone. And then even within doing that, I have a whole other document. I don't know why I do this. I cut and paste the chapter that I'm working on into another new document. So I have a special document just for the chapter that I'm working on. I don't know why I do this. I've always done this. It makes me a lot more efficient to like not be working in the whole big document because for whatever reason that just feels so messy to me. Like there's so many words in there. There's so much going on. So anyway, we've just created a new document, just chapter six. I'm gonna read through it again to remind myself of what I have and then we're gonna get started writing the new chapter. That's the first checklist item for today. It's 12.15 so we'll see how long it takes to get this one thing off the to-do list. It's now almost 2.45. I did take some breaks in there. One, I was procrastinating on like TikTok and stuff and two, I did my dishes and made a smoothie. I also edited this vlog so far but in this amount of time we just finished with chapter six so one thing off the to-do list. I think it helps a lot with the world building. I think it helps a lot with one of the subplots. Very pleased. It's not perfect, but we got started. We made the first like significant change to the manuscript. So the chapter when I first started was 1,264 words long. And I basically had to rework the majority of that. And then I added a ton to it. So after changing and adding, the chapter is now 2,991 words long. So in addition to like having to rework everything that I already had, I added 1,727 words to this chapter. It's a long one now, but we get to check something off the list. I don't know if we're gonna get anything else done today on this, any other like major things. That felt like a marathon. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? I just <laughs> was looking at my checklist again. I had this one bullet point which I just did. I didn't realize there was like a sub bullet point that I didn't do. It's just like a conversation I wanted these two characters to have towards the end of the chapter. So we gotta go back to chapter six. We're not done yet. We gotta add this in. This shouldn't be like more than 250 maybe 500 more words to add but we're not done yet okay it's not perfect i will probably come back to it but we added about 340 more words why is that so dark so now our word count for chapter six is 3300 and 32. We're also so close to 40,000 words now. We're only 12 words away. So that's one chapter completely rewritten and 2068 words added to the word count. Are you playing with your baker toy? Yeah. It's yours now. You took it from Dean. Is that what happened this morning? Yeah. And you're pouting over here over the loss of the baker. I don't know why that's the favorite toy. It's dirty and disgusting, but I can't take it away from them. They love it so much. I know. I know. Hi. Hello. Today is Saturday. I think it's been a few days since I updated you. I have been responding to emails and dealing with client stuff all morning. We're gonna have some bagels for breakfast. The editing stuff has been going very well. I'm officially booked all the way until May now. So if you were hoping to work with me for my editing services, if you have something short, I might be able to squeeze you in before then. But if you have like a full length novel, I'm completely booked until May now. I haven't updated you because I have not written anything or revised anything. I have not touched the book, but we're gonna work on it a little bit today. I'm hoping at least get one more thing off the to-do list. Also, completely unrelated, I have started posting on TikTok. It's just under my name, at Katie Wismer. And so if you wanted to go follow me over there, I would appreciate it because apparently you can't have like a link in your profile until you hit a 
thousand followers i think it is and people keep commenting on the tiktoks being like because i do them like about my books and stuff like where can i buy them and it would be nice if i could just have a link in my bio that they and i could just say the links on my profile so if you want to go follow me so i can put a link there I'd appreciate it. I also just posted a video of Max on there, which was really freaking cute. So yeah, that's what's going on today. I don't really have any plans except for tonight. So we have all morning and afternoon to hopefully make some progress in this book. So I will update you once we start revising. <laughs> Now that I have wasted over an hour on social media, let's get to working, shall we? Pulled out the energy drink. It's about 10 o'clock. Now I just need to pick something on the to-do list to get started. The problem is a lot of these things, like I know something needs to go there, but I don't know what. So it, the bullet point literally says something between this and this, something like this, something that accomplishes this, lengthen this without very many specifics because I don't really know. So um, I'm trying to pick the ones that I like actually know the details for and then we're saving the harder ones for later. Maybe this is a bad plan. You know what? We're going to stay in the same like section of the book because it's already kind of in my head from the last chapter. So we ended up changing all of chapter six and adding to it. Now for chapter seven, what I have is perfectly fine. I'm not going to change it, but right now it's the only part of the chapter and I basically just need to move it to the middle, add a scene before that and then add a scene after it in the same chapter. I might end up having to break up the chapter because it's gonna get long, but we have two scenes to write, one before, one after, chapter seven. That's what we're gonna do today. Sticky notes, very helpful. I'm gonna put a force timer on so I stop going on my phone. I've been really bad about this lately, but just of all of my TikToks, the most popular one now, the one that's really taken off is the one about my cat. And she's just laying there stretching. <laughs> she's really freaking cute. I can't blame people, but I just think it's funny. Max, you're famous. Hello, we've moved to my bed. I was watching Ella Enchanted while I was writing in here. So I finished chapter seven. I was wrong. Um, I was saying I need to write a scene before and a scene after. I do, but I only ended up writing the scene before because the one after needs to go in chapter eight. So we didn't write that one yet, but we finished chapter seven. So the chapter was originally 2,188 words. It's now at 3,036 words. So we added 848 words about, I changed some of the original text, but you know what I mean. So chapter seven, done. I still have a few hours before I need to get ready for my thing tonight. So maybe we'll work on it some more. I don't really know. Dean's being cute. Are you looking at yourself in the mirror over there? Are you admiring yourself? Two chapters of the book edited so far. And there's not that many chapters in the book, actually. I think it's only like 20 something. I don't know. The point is we're making some pretty good progress. I'm happy with it. Hello, happy Sunday. I forgot to update you again yesterday, but I got a lot done. We got a lot added to the book. So instead of just jumping around randomly, I've decided to just focus in on act one of the book. And once I have the whole beginning and the setup set in stone, and I'm really happy with that, then we'll move on to a different section. So now we have four things off the to-do list. And basically the majority of the things that I'm doing in act one, I'm not changing anything that I have. I'm just inserting in some additional scenes. So basically we're just writing some new stuff and adding some words and that's the project as of right now. Our word count has grown a lot. I'm now past 41,000 words. Hey, sorry to do this last update on my laptop, but I'm editing this vlog right now and I realized I wanted to finish it and I didn't have like an outro and it's super windy so it's super loud. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I'll see you guys next week. I think the next video I'll see you in is the cover reveal for the anti-relationship year, which I'm really excited about. If you're interested in being a part of a giveaway for an arc of the book, I'm sending that out in my newsletter this coming week. So make sure you're subscribed over my website. Um, and other than that, links down below for all the usual stuff. And I will just see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me.
first a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With